You were the Frankfurt police? Yes. Why are you here today? Because we, we think there are much people to see the Beatles. Thank you. It was the summer of 1964, and the Beatles were coming home. After a triumphant tour of Australia, the Beatles were back. Their return made the front pages of the Western World's newspapers. And to cover a brief stopover in Frankfurt, the American Forces Network sent Army PFC Nolan Keller to ride my international airport. At the airport, Bedlam was slowly breaking loose as Nolan located four teenage daughters of military personnel stationed in Europe. Hi, what's your name? Kathy Raleigh. How long have you been here? Since 12.30 last night. Since 12.30 last night? Yes, sir. What's your name? Rosita Dalton. Anna Smolka. Jenna Mangus. Four teenagers have been selected. Four teenagers that we just talked to by the press corps to uh, be here to see the Beatles and, if possible, talk to them and get autographs and pictures. The remainder of the group that was out to meet the Beatles has been held back because of these girls. Let's pick up this song. Since it was only a refueling stop, the Beatles did not leave the plane. They only came out on the steps to talk with the press and wave to their many fans. Nolan Kenner managed to get his AFN microphone up to Ringo Starr by climbing up the side of the steps, the bottom of which was clogged by the German press. There was only time for a couple of quick questions before the big jet took off again for England. Talk with you. Ben, all right? Just fine. Ringo, glad to know you. How's the trip? Oh, a bit of a drag, you know. Kill the old hours we've been sitting on the plane. How about the reception you had in Australia? It was very good. It was? Uh, we had some reports of some trouble. Everybody's had some reports. Really? It was about four people out of 6,000, so, you know. They blew the story.